Hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you find this interesting. Uh, the channel is all about living with the Tesla, traveling with the Tesla, the places we go with my wife, Jennifer, and uh, I hope you like. I thought I'd take a look today at the uh, the range of the vehicle and range reduction, range degradation. It was a comment from um, one of the viewers not so long ago when the car was fully charged. He noticed I was at 257 and he wondered what the uh, the range was when I first had the car. Well, I can tell you that when I first had the car, it was 263 miles maximum range. Although when I ordered it, it said it was going to be 278, but it never arrived uh, with those numbers. The new one now is 305, so it has improved a lot. So my range has gone down from 263 to 257 by six miles. And I've done 7,700 miles, which means that uh, for every 1,283 miles that uh, we drive, it goes down one mile. Now, the first year is the highest uh, reduction by all accounts. Uh, the first 12,000 miles, they say it goes down possibly 2%, something in that range. Uh, and then it does reduce. But then I thought, well... Based on that calculation, 1,283 miles, losing one mile of range. In 100,000 miles, if it was the same, but hopefully it's not going to be, I would lose 77 miles. So based on my uh, original 263 miles, I would then have a range of 186 miles on the Tesla Model 3 LFP standard range. Now, considering that would be if it had done 100,000 miles, I really don't think it is going to reduce that amount um, because I think it's going to taper off because most things I've read about the Tesla Model 3 seem to come true um, from, from other bloggers, YouTubers, whether in the US, Australia uh, or the UK. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, that's going to play out. I'm a bit more than happy with 257 at the moment. Um, we do road trips occasionally, but a lot of the time the car's just stood in the uh, in the garage and uh, and uh, not doing very much, or, or the occasional blog from me here on YouTube. I paid forty two thousand and ninety pounds for the car last September. I ordered it in July, and it took two months to arrive. Now, if you order one, it will take a lot longer than that. But the same car will cost £49,590. That's an extra £7,500. I thought a £42,000 car was pretty expensive, but £49,590. They have increased the range to 305 miles um, over the 263, so that's an extra 42. It's a bit of an improvement, but uh, it's still a lot of money. In fact, if you think about it, that £7,500 extra to buy a car is a pound a mile because I've done 7,700 miles. Well, it's all but a pound a mile, isn't it? 99p. It's actually turned out to be an excellent investment. And now as for charging, I do charge to 100% because it is an LFP battery. Uh, the car I thought was going to arrive and uh, I thought I'd only be able to charge to 80 or 90% unless it was on a road trip. So I was um, all geared up for the first road trip in Scotland and uh, soon realised when I started playing around with the dashboard that it was an LFP uh, battery and I could go to 100%. I, I never quite saw the point of having being only being able to charge to 80%. Before I bought the Tesla, I thought I could blog and you could actually have a referral link and then you could uh, use my referral link if you then bought a Tesla. Well, two days after the car arrived, they stopped the referral program. So unfortunately, I was hoping to get a few supercharger miles free uh, and travel all around the country with the supercharger, but never mind. So I enjoy blogging. I enjoy having the car. If you're thinking of buying one, I would say yes, it's still, yes, it has gone up in money, but you know, so are their shares. So I was reading about someone who's going to buy a Tesla, but they put the money in the shares. But of course, my situation is I've done 7,700 miles. I could sell the car for more than I bought it. Um, and I've done miles in it, which is unheard of in a car. I know other cars, are, there is a shortage of EVs and most cars, and, and uh, but it is particularly good. I mean, a car used to go down 25% 
the moment uh, that you had purchased it. So it's pretty good. So I'd say, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. It would be a, a lot harder. It would be harder to buy seven and a half thousand pounds, which uh, it's a lot of money. Um, it's got to be a long term investment. I would say yes. But there are alternatives, aren't there? And of course, as you're getting close to £50,000 for a car, um, it's a big car. I, I just wish Tesla would make the Model 2 the much smaller and more affordable. But while they're making billions a year making electric vehicles, why make, uh, why make a cheap one? I totally get that. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you can like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope you don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Thanks ever so much. Take care. Bye.